Hello there. Uh, welcome to grade 10 economics. Uh, this video you want to look at a past exam paper. So this is going to be our past uh, paper two. And we are going to look uh, at questions on utility and the production and possibility care. So please, uh, let's not forget to subscribe and share. Uh, let's uh, subscribe and share. Uh, let's uh, share the link uh, to all our colleagues who are doing grade 10 uh, economics. So um, moving on to our question. Uh, so we have got a uh, part uh, a 4.1. I remember our question uh, is under our microeconomics and contemporary economic issues. So uh, that's where we are. So our uh, 4.1, it reads under the following questions, a uh, 4.1.1, name two levels of government in South Africa. But we know that we've got three main levels that we have, that is the national, uh, the provincial, and then we also have the local. So uh, you will see that at uh, these three uh, levels that we have, uh, each level has its own legislative and executive authority, uh, something that we should know. And uh, even the constitution uh, defines them uh, as distinctive, uh, but also they are regarded as uh, interrelated, that is, uh, they depend upon each other. So uh, but basically, uh, our question only is uh, leads us to uh, name two levels of government in uh, South Africa. So um, to our answer section, uh, this is our 4.1.1. We are saying uh, we have uh, the national. Uh, national. And then the second one, uh, we have the uh, provincial. Uh, and also we have the local. So the local is the municipality. So you have to uh, just pick two out of three. So uh, going to the next question, uh, let's try to see what we have. The question and uh, uh, it's got uh, uh, two marks. So uh, utility, I know that this is a term that used to determine uh, the weight or value of a good or a service, or uh, more specifically, you can try to define it up as uh, uh, the total satisfaction or benefit derived from consuming a good or service. So the total satisfaction that we derive uh, from uh, consuming a product or the benefit that we derive is also utility. So we can just try to uh, briefly describe it according to the requirements of the question so that we can be able to get our two marks. So we go to the other section and we say 4.1 and 2. So uh, we can describe it as the degree uh, utility uh, is the degree of satisfaction that a consumer uh, that a consumer gain by consuming a good or service. So uh, this is uh, the brief definition that we have in terms of our utility. Then as well, we can try to uh, move on to the next question. So on the next question, uh, it reads that uh, study the following graph and answer the question that follow. We are given the production possibility curves of electronics manufacturer whereby we have got the vertical axis uh, being cell phones, and then um, we have got uh, the horizontal uh, being uh, tablet. So um, production possibility curve, we know that uh, this is a graph uh, that shows uh, the various combinations of goods or services. So a graph that shows us uh, different combinations of goods and services, we call it a production uh, possibility curve. So um, it, it, it is also known as uh, another way that, uh, another term that we can use uh, to, uh, uh, a name this curve is also we can also call it a PP series production possibility curve, and also we can call it a production possibility plan. So uh, a production possibility curve, uh, you know that it shows uh, the combinations of two goods. So in this case, we have got our cell phones, and then we have got our tablets on the our horizontal axis, uh, and its downward slope uh, that is being shown there uh, is an implication of scarcity. Uh, the downward uh, slope uh, is an implication of uh, scarcity. And then uh, we are seeing that it is bowing out outside uh, like this. Uh, it is bowing outside. Uh, so uh, the bowing outside is uh, resulting from allocating resources uh, based on comparative advantage. So the issue of allocating resources um, uh, based on comparative advantage is the one that is leading uh, to the cave to bow outwards like this. So uh, and this is uh, what we have in the explanation of our, our PPC, which is our production a possibility cave. So moving on to our question, um, uh, we go to the first question and saying identify the point on the graph where optimum production of cell phones and tablets take place. So um, uh, when we're analyzing these um, 
uh, a point that we have uh, because uh, the question is asking us to uh, uh, name a point there which is showing optimum, uh, optimum production. But uh, if you look at A, A, we are only producing cell phones. There are no tablets. Remember, tablets are zero at this point. And then C, we are also having uh, no cell phones being produced. We only have tablets at C. Uh, so uh, they are representing that at A, uh, it's, the representation is that all resources are being allocated to production of cell phones only. So there, are, there is no template that is being produced. So on the horizontal axis at C, we are saying that also all resources are being allocated to templates. So there are no cell phones that are being produced. Then D is indicating scarcity. At D, we cannot produce at D because we do not have the uh, resources. Uh, 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 we do not have enough resources to produce a combination of D. So uh, we can only produce A, B, and C. Uh, that is on the cave and inside the cave. So D. Uh, represents scarcity and then if we had a, uh, a point that is inside the cave it was just going to show inefficiency that uh, we were supposed to produce uh, 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 more, more units that is on the cave but we produce inside so we wasted uh, our resources so uh, points in the cave represents inefficiency so um, uh, our question uh, is asking us where so it means uh, the, the only point that is left that is represents also our production of cell phones and tablets so uh, a combination V, that's where we are having a combination of cell phones and tablets being produced. So B becomes uh, the appropriate answer that we have there. So we are saying uh, this is now uh, 4.2.1. We are saying point B. Well, then we'll move on to the next part of the question where they say, what point C, all resources are being allocated for production of tablets. So this is the that we are just are going to give uh, on the answer section. So uh, this is now our four. Uh, 4.2.2, so we are saying open 2.2, uh, just try to see what we have in terms of 4.2.2. So we are here, and we are saying for the explanation that we have there is that all resources. So if you move, go back, you'll see that um, or uh, we come here, you would see that uh, we are talking about a uh, point C, uh, whereby we are saying all resources are being allocated to the manufacture, to the uh, uh, manufacturing of uh, cell phones, producing of cell phones. So uh, this is the explanation that we are just uh, going to uh, give there. So we are saying all resources are, uh, are being used. Uh, to produce our uh, tablets and no cell phones are produced. So this is the response that we have there. So we can just try to refer uh, you see that actually so it's the quantity of cell phones is zero represented by the point of origin there. So uh, this is uh, what we have. And then uh, moving on to the next question, uh, the next question says, uh, why is production possibility case important to manufacturers? Uh, but you know that uh, the importance of uh, the PPC, which is the production process, if, is to uh, it's going to be to show that the uh, the uh, the combination of goods that can be produced with the available resources. Remember, we have got point D that we identified that is outside our uh, outside the, the, the PPC, which is D. Uh, we do not produce the D. So uh, the PPC can help you to see uh, which combination can you produce with them uh, with the resources that are available. So we can be able to see that there are some combinations that we cannot produce with those that are there. So that becomes an important. We can also uh, talk about uh, uh, the importance of PPC from the point of view that it shows the trade-offs associated with allocating resources between the production of two goods. So trade-offs, we are saying, uh, uh, it's, it's, it's an aspect of choosing one uh, one item uh, while uh, losing another. So we are saying if you increase at the production of cell phones, it means we are going to reduce uh, the production of tablets with the resources that are there. If we, uh, the opposite is true. If you increase production of tablets, uh, it means uh, you, are, you, are, you are supposed to give up uh, some units uh, of cell phones. So this is exactly what we mean by trade-off. So PPC now uh, helps us uh, to, to show the trade-offs that is associated with allocating resources between uh, the production of the two goods. In this essence, we have got cell phones and a tablet. So, uh, we can just pick uh, between the two explanations and uh, which one can we be able to uh, put down. So here we are saying um, four points, uh, 4.2, 4.3, and 
the explanation that we, we have is that uh, the PPC, the PPC uh, shows, uh, shows, shows which combinations, uh, shows which combinations of two goods can be produced with a number of available resources. So uh, this is what we have. Then uh, we try to see a video uh, which says, um, uh, explain, okay, uh, we are going to 4.2.4, explain why we cannot produce uh, combination D. Uh, we have been explaining about this uh, it's because uh, we do not have the resources, uh, shortage of resources is uh, the reason, which is 4.2.4. So we can just uh, indicate that one here we are saying, so the reason is that uh, the shortage of resources, so again, we're going to try to uh, it improve by saying there is shortage of uh, resources. So uh, this is the explanation that we have in terms of uh, why we are not producing a D, because uh, we do not have uh, resources available to produce a uh, combination D. So uh, for the last part of the question now, uh, that we want to look at according to this window, draw a, a graph that illustrates how the PPC would be affected if we can produce more tablets without affecting at the production output of cell phones. So um, cell phones, we are having it on, is on the vertical axis, and we are saying it's not going to be affected, but uh, more tablets are going to be produced, but we are not going to affect production of cell phones. That's what the question is saying. So it means what is going to shift is the uh, horizontal axis, which is tablets, so we are just going to show any point uh, that is um, uh, showing an increase in production of uh, tablets. So it's going to be uh, a movement in this direction. So uh, it means we can uh, choose to, to be here, the one that is increasing, but uh, A is not going to shift uh, on the mass production of cell phones. Because the, uh, the question is, is explaining that production of cell phones is not going to be affected. So it's going to remain fixed. What is going to shift is uh, tablets. Uh, according to what we are told, so you can just maybe try to refer back. He said, "Draw a graph that illustrates how the PPC will be affected if we can produce more tablets. Tablets is also not, so it's one that's going to shift uh, without affecting production output of cell phones. Cell phones are on the vertical; they're not going to shift. So, um, as simple as that. So, we come here. We say, uh, it means our curve. Uh, so what we are going to do in the other section, we're just going to uh, reproduce this curve. It means we are going to uh, start here." And uh, because it's not going to shift, and then you just show that's on the horizontal axis. So on the horizontal axis, you can come here. Then you are now you can now label uh, your new. It's now going to a new curve. Then just show an arrow inside uh, to show that uh, the curve has shifted. So uh, this is indicating an increase in tablets. So this uh, arrow is showing uh, is showing increase uh, increase in tablets production of tablets. So this arrow is showing increase uh, in production in production of tablets. So uh, basically, that's what we have. So basically, uh, this uh, explanation I'm just giving you so that you can understand where the increase is coming from uh, of uh, production of tablets. So there's a shift. Uh, if this is C, maybe this can be E. So it means uh, the production of tablets, if all resources are allocated to the production of tablets, we're going to see a shift from point C to point E. So that's the increase that we have. So um, this is uh, what we have, guys, uh, in the question that we have. Uh, this is a paper two question paper. Let's stay tuned for more videos to come that are going to assist us in the upcoming exams. Let's subscribe and share. Let's share the link to our colleagues who are doing the 10 economics. As for this video, I'm signing out. Let's meet again in the next video.